DCAT 682! Wake up, DCAT 682! Pull yourself together, DCAT 682! Wait. Who rescued me? I, I was thinking it was a female pirate. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. The boat is talking to me. Did I startle you? I suppose that it is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the word of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. DCAT 682, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to, to fearlessly stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and he was ultimately sealed away by the very, pow by the very power he hoped to command. He is a very same Ganon, the emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legend speaks of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, DCAT682, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yes. And will you do anything to save her? Yes. Yes. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advance, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by the li what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that can, you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yeah. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit a little bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the ability to speak, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I've brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. Wait, how did you bring me here if you didn't have a sail? Ocean currents. Gotta be ocean currents. Th this island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Wait, what did he say his name was? The King of the Lions, I think. Windfall Island. Hey, that kid looks cocky. What's the matter, mister? Why are you- Why were you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? We're good girls! We don't spread rumors! What? Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute and all, 
But that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you'd like. Jeepers! What the? It's another piggy! Piggy! Pig! I got a pig! Although I don't need you, so I'll just toss you. Oh. I'm sorry, piggy. I didn't mean to toss you like that. Oh, oh! If you please, young boy. There. Please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, okay. Why the long face? Oh, oh, oh. My sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter. Poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming and just looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here, I stand begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare and they'll, they'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes. PAY! Well, I guess so, only because I am going to be going there to free people anyway, but sure, why not? So, I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black splotched pig, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I've let on my shore to graze over yonder, but the thing is, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. Oh. Um. I picked up one of your pigs and threw him. Probably should not have done that. Right in front of you, actually. This to be the bomb shop. Ten bombs, twenty bombs, thirty bombs. Go! Although I don't have any bomb bags, so I can't even buy it. Um, you don't have enough cash, do you? No, I think not. Do you expect me to sell my fine bombs to some boy who has no money? Ha! I'm done with you. Beat it, scram! 30,000 rupees? Oh, never mind! Oh, god. Um... No, 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 I, I, I got it, I got it. I, I didn't realize it was 30,000 rupees, or 20,000 rupees, or 10,000 rupees. I thought it was... 110 rupees, 23 rupees, and 30 rupees. Ugh. I, I, I can't even carry that many rupees. In all honesty, so... He's not gonna get a single rupee off me. You say you want a sail for a boat? Tell me you're kidding me with me. Listen up, laddie. Try using your lit your head a little more. What makes you think a bloke like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, would give away the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie! Well, if you say so. Tis a peaceful place, this here island. The people here would never even dream of letting their oh, their little par on leaving their little paradise and setting sail on a voyage to that sea. Know what I mean? Why is this town full of faces that don't even show the slightest interest in the sails of, sh of a ship? Are we sailors? The only ones? Has no one else set out on the great sea? Postman. I want to talk to the postman. Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. I want to talk to the postman. He was ever so kind to me the other day. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit what that I am looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me a Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. Woohoo! Yeah, 
Yeah. Hello, hello, and hello. You are standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard our potions are the best, I'm telling you. They're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm. What's that? What's Chew Jelly? You ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir. You simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words true jelly roar out in answers to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why? It is a key ingredient in most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? No, but can I buy that bottle next to you? Yeah, yeah. Red potion, 20. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 20 rupees, I'll buy it. Hmm, what? Don't tell me you don't have an empty bottle. I can't sell you any potion if you don't have anything to carry to carry it in. It's not my law. It's a law of physics. Why can't I use that bottle he's right next to you? That's rude. He has a bottle, but he's not gonna let me use it. That is really rude. Eh. Well, apparently it was really good stuff, but he's not offering it for sale, so what can I do? Although my rupee pouch is cool. What's in here? Oh. You little weasel! Oh, you little weasel! Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high priced vases. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. I don't know what type of compensation he has in mind. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Hey, sir, I broke all your high value base. Oh, wait, wait, there's still one more. Wait, can I knock this over? I don't think I can. Never mind. Notice windfall auction tonight. Bidding starts at dusk. All welcome, all customers welcome. Wait just one moment! Do you think you can just break someone's vases and leave without paying for them? I must, I must chortle at your naivety. Ho ho! Those happen to be extremely high-class bo bone china vases that run a minimum of 10 rupees each. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. Let me see now. That comes to a total of... 70 rupees. I shall accept your payment. But I don't want to pay! What? When you break someone else's vases, it's only natural that you... that you compensate them for the loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because you of the destruction tomfoolery. And now, because of you, I'm going to be even richer. And I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? Don't stand around looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way. He just swindled me. Kind of. I did break his vases. I did break his vases, so I guess I can't really talk. You're looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look. 
I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will ya? Drop anchor elsewhere. She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it, she, she has a mountain of tacky pendants in her earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Now, just what are you doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know, it's bad to eavesdrops on conversations meant only for adults' ears. We're discussing very, very important topics that kids wouldn't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man. Go, so shoot! Whoa, I just turned myself around. My dear fellow, I- oh wait, my dear my dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come in this way. No, 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 go over there. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a lands far blizzardy. It was violent, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of it, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh, that yes indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem that least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel to the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it! Whatever it is, I think it's a sale. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, um, young master. As I promised, please take that. You got a boat sail. Set it to... And then use it while on your boat to sail across sea. Sweet. Yes, yes, yes. You have made good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. Windfall is a warm and bustling place, I deem. I do believe I shall settle and open a business here. Yes, yes, yes. I must say, if you happen to come across a delivery bag that looks handy for carrying products, let me know. The first thing I must do is find products to sell. How do I attach this again? There we go. The problem is I'm using a, I'm using an Xbox controller, so but my buttons don't actually match up with the buttons on this. My A button is A, my B button is X, and my X button is B, and Z is Y. No, wait. Never mind, I don't know what my Z is. Hey there, boy! Did you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, it was... It, if you just wanted to send someone a letter, just set it to the and use it on the post box. It's that easy. Before long, the Rito postman will come and deliver it to whomever you've sent it to. He's a hand hardworking fellow, I tell you. People from all over the world seem to gather on Windfall Island. I mean, island. All hoping to become a successful merchant. I suppose you could say that this is the island where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important, sure. But don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way.
my piggy bank is a little empty right now. I for buying all those bases that I smashed. Kids! Hello, kids! Stop moving! Hey, 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 I need to talk to you! What are you looking at, bud? Huh? 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 Hey, bud! What are you? What are you? Some kind of country rube? I mean, look at your outfit. What's up with the get up? You stink, mister! We ain't seen your face around before here, bud! Are you all alone or what? You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this all by yourself. What are you doing anyways? Huh? 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 Are you a hick or something? I like that one kid. Hey, stop! Hey, lady! These kids are bugging me! Well, what do you think about my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? There's, aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outset Island sent them this outfit to me. She's an amazing girl. She just put jars on her head and walks around like it's nothing. You have to see it to believe it. Well, I think I've seen it. Wasn't I from Outlet Island? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know the names of the islands. I don't know where I'm from. Hey, hey welcome. At the 10 rupees per kid game. You wanna play or what? Sure. Yeah, okay. Then, um, uh, <clears throat> welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolphisky. Look sharp for the RB. V are the sole protector of this island. Admiral Red Alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows us the school of deadly giant squids are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? Where? Ah, who oh, I see. The fiends approach. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the islands will be in great will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system and seek out and seek all of the sta the sea friendly fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the many marauding squid pods. You must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use the zeal to, cur to, to move the cursor, and press A to fire cotton blast. May your aim be true, that is all. That is all the instructions you need. Is that clear, sailor? Aye aye, sir! Excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight bravely. Splish! Splish! Kaboom! Splish! Splish! Kaboom! Splish! Kaboom! That was a medium squid. This feels a lot like Splish. Battleship. Splish. Splish. This feels a whole lot Splish. like Battleship. Splish. 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 I'm having bad luck. Splish. I'm having extremely bad luck, you know? Splish. Splish. Oh, come on! Splish. There's no way I can win now. Where are they? Kaboom! Splish. Kaboom! Splish. Kaboom! Okay. I lost that. Oh, bad news, uh, sailor. The enemies have retreated or something. That's 10 rupees for another ki game kid. Wanna try again? Sure! Splish! Splish! Kaboom! Splish! Splish! Kaboom! Splish! Kaboom! Medium! Again! Kaboom! Kaboom! Whoa! Ants 